Hello, fabulous, and welcome to Isha Inspired. I'm Isha Casagrande, 20 years experienced wardrobe stylist for The Real Woman. I am an expert in playing dress up, and that is just what I'm doing today. I love to show you how to take one piece and do a lot of different things with it. So I'm gonna take this fun maxi dress today, and I'm gonna show you over 10 ways to work this in. Listen, the possibilities are endless you'll get the drift by the end of it. All right, so just a fun maxi. I don't wear a lot of these. Um, I like shorter skirts. I like to show off my legs, but I love this one because there's not too much volume to it. So it kind of hugs the body, has a slight bit of um, sheerness, to, not sheer, but you can feel the body through it instead of it just being really thick material. And it has slits on either side. So you still get that airiness, that fabulous. Um, that flirty and that flash of skin. So I love that this has adjustable straps. That is something that I look for when I'm styling women because I want you to be able to do things different ways with what you have. And depending on even what bra you have on can really change up what, where, the placement that you need, right? So this has adjustable straps. I have this layered with just this fun, silky little um, leopard bralette. You can see it's peeking through the back. It actually has the same crisscrosses in the back, which is so fun. More straps is more fabulous. That's just the rules these days. Gone are the days where underwear are underwear. Now it's all about showing it all off. All right, so this is such a fun dress. And listen, let me tell you, I love this color. It's like one of my favorites. It's almost kind of an olivey brown, um, which I think is so flattering on so many women. And the color and the texture of it will allow me to wear it longer. So I actually could wear this with boots um, in the fall. But for now, I have it on with my fun summer sandals. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when I tie two of the sides together. So I'm gonna actually pull it up pretty tight and adjust it here and show you how fun and how I still can move everything. So it just gives it a little bit of a different shape, a different flair that becomes more of a shorter dress now, right? But it gives an interesting piece to look for and look towards, yet it's still completely comfortable. I've just brought it up a little. This would be super cute with some little flats or even some booties. Open toed booties would be so fun. I like it with my, uh, oh my gosh, I love these shoes. I don't even know what I'd call them, like the lace up shoe. All right, so that's one fun way. So let me show you a couple of different belts. I always love to tell people that depending on where you put the belt on your hips, changes up the look of whatever you're wearing. So I have two great belts here and I'm gonna show you two different ways to wear them. So this is kind of an olive green. So here's the thing is it's not the exact color of this, but it's amazing how this turns into that color when I have this nearby. So this is kind of a fun adjustable one too. So if I wanted more um, drop down on the waist, I can go ahead and um, adjust these. But what's so great is it's a piece of jewelry too, right? It really becomes a piece of jewelry. So I'm gonna put this on lower on the hips. So let me get it on here for you. And I'm gonna pull this up and pull this down. And then I can even take these and wrap them up. I'm just gonna tuck them underneath both sides and then pull them down right here. Oh, it's hard with two of them and tuck it right in here. So I don't wanna really cover any of this other stuff because there's already some fun buttons and some fun gold going on. But look at that, I just created, it's totally like a piece of jewelry. So lower at the hips, gives it a little bit of a different vibe, right? A little bit more relaxed, um, so fun. The gold with the gold shoes, I could totally get away with that but I actually could wear even a flat sandal with this and put on a cute hat would be so much fun. So my other belt that I want to show you, which is another fantastic, um, boy, did you have one of these like back in the seventies and wish you would have kept it? Yes. So this one I'm going to put higher at the waist. Okay. And I can wear this lower at the waist too, but I'm going to put this up higher at the waist and I'm going to put it higher then you would think most women want to put it here. I'm going to pull it up just a little bit higher and I'll show you why. I'm going to tuck this under and I'm going to pull it in right here. And then I'm going to pull up 
on some of this. Pull this up a little bit more in front. And now it is a little bit more of a classic vibe. Okay, when I had the belt lower on the waist, it was a little bit more of a relaxed, um, kind of playful. This is a little bit more of a sophisticated, up higher. You can still see the bra in the back, but it gives it just a little bit more of a sophisticated feel. All right, so now I've taken the dress and I have actually moved those crisscross straps from the back to the front to cross in front and I put on a little bandeau that um, gives me a little bit more coverage here. So depending on what you have and how much cleavage you want to show, the bralette that I had on earlier was very cute with it, but it was a deep V. And so I thought, oh, that might be just a little bit too much exposure. But how fun now this dress has just a bit of a different look, a different shape, some interesting lines to look at, and actually is really fun with this bandeau that comes all the way across um, the front. So you get these crisscrosses, you get these points. Anytime you have these points, there are places for people, it catches their eye, and then they see that smallest point instead of seeing the widest point. So. It's all about tricking them in the imagination. So everything I showed you earlier, you could do again here. We could tie it up on the side. It's gonna have just a little bit of a different look. I showed you two different belts with this and either one of those belts I could do with this now, but look what happens when I put a black belt inside this fun rope belt. And since this has some black and the brown, it does go with this even though they're not exact colors. But when I put this black belt with it, a lot of fun things happen. That black picks up the black in the bandeau. I think I'm saying bandeau like different every time I say it. I don't really know what my problem is right now. Bandeau, bandeau, banda, I don't know. Um, so now I have the black, but what's fun is that gold pops. So it picks up the shoe, it picks up the cuff, picks up the earring. All the lines are in the right places. Even these tassels become those skinny places where the eye looks just like these bands. And voila, you have a completely different outfit that's so casual, so comfortable, so fabulous. You can go from day to night and feel amazing and confident, which is always my goal for you. So please like, please comment, please follow both Isha Casa Grande and Isha Inspired for daily inspiration on fashion, food, fitness, and faith. I'm so excited you were here. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope you're inspired.